Famous Sacramento writer Joan Didion has died at the age of 87. KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri spoke with local author, authors saddened by the news. Joan Didion was a, a pure example of complicated ideas expressed with clarity. Famed novelist and essayist and Sacramento native Joan Didion died this morning at her Manhattan home. She had Parkinson's disease. Didion was 87 years old. I'm sad. I'm tearing up now. There are not a lot of authors about whom I would feel that way. It's a short list. Shelley Blanton Stroud taught writing at Sacramento State. Obviously, Joan Didion was a part of that. And is an author herself. Because I fell in love with her sentences. Joan Didion says things in a way that is, it's just like clear water. And she never avoids complicated ideas. She goes straight to them. Reading from Didion's essay on keeping a notebook. I think we are well advised to keep on nodding terms with the people we used to be, whether we find them attractive company or not. Otherwise, they turn up unannounced and surprise us. Didion's story went to high school with Joe, right? also encouraged author Jennifer Basie Sander. Well, I grew up in Sacramento uh, and I wanted to be a writer and I thought, oh, nothing ever happens in Sacramento until she learned of Sacramento's connection to the literary world, eventually taking people on tours to local spots Didion mentions in her memoirs. She writes about having Coke, uh, Coca-Cola at Vic's Ice Cream on Riverside Boulevard. I think it's very well known that she went to McClatchy High School, of course. And lived here at what's come to be known as the Didion House on 22nd and T. Later, she studied at UC Berkeley and went on to live in New York, still leaving a lasting impression on many here in Sacramento. They feel an attachment to her, and I think a little bit of that is smart, decent, honest, with a chip on its shoulder. I feel that Joan Didion's persona is a very like Sacramento's persona. In Sacramento, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. Didion's memoir, The Year of Magical Thinking, won the National Book Award for Nonfiction in 2005.